क्वेश्चन नंबर वन रेड टाइड इज कॉज बाई एन ऑर्गेनिजम विच क्लोजली रिसम्बल्स विच ऑफ दी स्ट्रक्चर्स रेड टाइड इज दी अपियरेंस ऑफ दी सी वेन द रेड डाइनो फ्लाजिलेट्स एग्जाम्पल गोनिया लैक्स एंड गो रैपिड मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी पिगमेंट प्रेसेंट इन दर सेल्स दे ड्राइव दी कलर रेड ब्लू ब्राउन ग्रीन और येलो अमोंग दीज रेड डाइनो फ्लाजिलेट्स वेरी ऑफन मल्टीप्लाई रैपिडली एंड बिकम सो न्यूमरस that they discolor the coastal waters hence the name red tides these organisms also deplete the oxygen in waters and release toxins which may cause illness in other aquatic animals and humans the first option is dinoflagellate the second one is euglena third one is amoeba and the fourth one is paramecium so the correctly matching option is option a question number 2 observe the labeling in the diagram and identify a and b the human kidney has about 85% cortical nephrons and about 15% juxta medullary nephrons the cortical neurons are highly coiled structures with majority of the pods present in the cortex region juxta medullary nephrons have long loop of henle which runs deep in the medulla well developed vasa recta and are mainly activated during the shortage of water so the correctly matching option is option c they represent cortical nephrons that is range from 80 to 85% of total nephrons b represent juxta glomerular nephrons ranges from 15 to 20% of total nephrons so the correctly matching option is option c question, question number 3 stellus sea cow from russia described by george wilhelm steller become extinct due to over exploitation is one of the four major causes of biodiversity loss as humans depend for their needs on nature and as a result of which they over exploit the natural resources leading to loss of biodiversity ucn has recovered in the last 500 years the extinction of 785 species some examples of recent extinctions include dodo endemic waga endemic in africa thylacin endemic in australia stellus sea cow endemic in russia and three subspecies of tiger passenger pigeon and stellus sea cow were hunted by humans leading to the decrease so the answer is option b over exploitation number 4 Individuals homozygous for XY genes were crossed with wild type plus plus the F1 dihybrid thus produced was test crossed it produced progeny in the following ratio plus plus 900 plus Y115 XY880 X plus 105 find out the recombination frequency the following steps can be used to calculate the recombination frequencies rf equal to nr by tp into 100 map units where rf is recombinant frequency nr number of recombinants tp total number of progeny the total number of recombinants in this case is 19 plus 105 equal to 220 and the total number of progeny is 900 plus 115 plus 880 plus 105 equal to 2000 so the recombination frequency is 220 by 2000 into 100 equal to 11 map units so the answer is option c 11 map units question number 5 during an enzyme catalyzed reaction the substrate reaches a transition stage which is enzymes are molecules that act as catalyst to increase the rate of reaction enzymes bind to the substrate forming the complex called as enzyme substrate complex and the product formed is released once the substrate is altered the enzyme substrate complex state is transition state between the substrate and product this state is unstable and temporary so the answer is option c temporary and unstable question number 6 the eukaryotic multicellular saprophytic organisms reproduce sexually by the eukaryotic multicellular saprophytic organisms are fungi zygospores are found by the fusion of two gametes it is seen in pycomyces sexual spores are called 
ascospores are produced endogenously in sac like ascae in ascomycetes in basidiomycetes plasmogamy is brought about diffusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains of genotypes the resultant structure is dikaryotic which ultimately gives rise to basidium karyogamy and meiosis takes place in the basidium producing four basidiospores in pycomyces asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores it is motile or by aplanospores non motile these spores are endogenously produced in sporangium it is generally called as sporangiospores in ascomyces the asexual spores are gonadia produced exogenously on the special mycelium called gonadiopores so the answer is option a zygospores ascospores and basidiospores question number 7 Which one of the following is incorrectly matched with the characteristic and the taxon? Trigon and Scoliodon both belong to the class Chondrichthyes of superclass Physis subphylum Vertebrata of the phylum Chordata, which possesses cartilaginous endoskeleton. Notochord is present throughout the life in Chondrichthyes and possesses a ventrally placed mouth. skin contain minute placoid scales trigon possesses poisonous sting and is it is commonly known as sting ray scoliodon possesses special electro receptors shown as ampulla of the lorizini they both are uh, poikilothermous and scolidion possesses a special electro receptor known as ampulla of the lorizini They both are poikilothermous animals with two chambered heart. Exocoitus and hippocampus also being to the phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Physis, but the class Hostichthyes. Exocoitus, also known as flying fish, possesses large pectoral fin, and hippocampus, commonly known as sea horse, exhibit a special feature of parental care. where the male partner take care of the egg until hatching so the answer is option d fourth one from the given four statements the fourth one is incorrectly matched question number 8 observe the graph of area various species richness and select the option that explain line 1 and 2 Alexander von Humboldt observed that within a region species richness increased with increasing explored area but only up to a limit in fact the relation between species richness and area for a wide variety of taxa turns out to be a rectangular hyperbola on a logarithmic scale the relationship is a straight line described by equation log s equal to log c plus z log a whereas s equal to species richness a is area z is slope of the line a relation coefficient c equal to y it is a intercept ecologist have discovered that the value is the range of 0.1 to 0.2 regardless of the taxonomic group or the region whether it is a plant in britain birds in california or mollusk in new york state but if you analyze the species area relationship among very large areas like the entire continent you will find that the slope of the line to be much steeper for example for frugivorous it is generally called as fruit eating birds and mammals in the tropic forest of the different continents the slope is found to be 1.15 in this graph line 2 is steeper than 1 thus z value is higher so the answer is option d first one mollusk in new york state and second one frugivorous bird and mammals in the tropical forest of different continents so that only explain line 1 and 2 so the correctly matching option is d question number 9 the correct difference between the embryonic development of monocot and dicot plant is in both monocot and dicot endosperm is formed before embryo 
Coleoptile covering the plumule and coleoriza covering the radical is seen in monocot embryo and not in the dicot embryo. In monocots, a single cotyledon is formed, the upper cell of the embryo, which the lower cell forms radical and plumule. Thus, the growth of the monocot embryo is lateral. In monocots, the basal cell enlarges and forms large vesic vesicular suspensor. In dicots, the basal cell divides horizontal for form a layer of 6 to 10 cells called the cell touching the embryo is hypopysis while the cell on its extreme opposite is hostoria. So the correctly matching option is option A. In monocots, suspensor is single celled while in dicot it contains 6 to 10 cells. Question number 10. What will be the molecular formula of polypeptide consisting of 10 glycine residues? The structure of amino acid glycine is as follows that is uh, given in the textbook. Thus, the molecular formula of glycine is C2H5O2 N1. When 10 glycine molecules come together to form a polypeptide chain, 9 peptide bonds will be formed by the loss of 9 water molecules. Thus, the molecular formula of the polypeptide will be C2H5O2 N1 and 10 minus 9 H2O equal to C20 H32 O11 N10. So the correctly matching option is option B C20 H32 O11 N10. Question number 11. Throat swab of a patient with sore throat, hoarseness of voice and difficulty in breath was taken. The organism was observed under the microscope and was identified as Corinibacterium diphtheriae. The following is an image of the slide, which is what is the nature of the organisms. Corinibacterium diphtheriae is a bacterium that means it is a prokaryote without a well developed nucleus. When you observe these bacilli, that means they are rod shaped bacilli. So the answer is option B. They are rod shaped organism without a well developed nucleus. So the answer is option B. Question number 12. Systolic blood pressure of a patient was 140 mm Hg while his diastolic blood pressure is 90 mm Hg. If this is not controlled it can lead to is the lateral force exerted by the volume of blood on the walls of the blood vessels. The blood pressure is high in the circulation than venous. Normal ideal blood pressure in the human is 120 by 80 mm Hg. When this pressure increases, it signifies that the force exerted on the vessels walls in higher than usual and also the heart is pumping blood with much higher force than normal. This abnormal pressure, if continued for a long duration, will eventually lead to damage to layers of the arterial walls which lose their elastic property and become hardened. The blood vessels of the kidney is generally called as renal artery being the most common affected. Also, high pressure can lead to the rupture of delicate vessels in the brain leading to the brain hemorrhage. This continues overwork of pumping blood with more pressure will lead to disease of the heart too. The conducting system is not dependent on the circulation but instead dependent on the electrical circuit of the heart which is not affected by the raised blood pressure. So the answer is option B. From the, the blood pressure 140 mm Hg which is diastolic blood pressure is 90 mm Hg. If this is not controlled, it can lead to heart disease, brain hemorrhage is followed by the damage of blood vessels of kidney taken place. In. Analyze the given options and select the one that corresponds to have the least percentage value. Once covering more than 14% of the earth's land surface, these rainforests now cover no more than 6%. Although India has only 2.4% of the world's land area, it shares of the global species diversity is an impressive 8.1%. More than 25% of drugs currently sold the market. 
worldwide are derived from plants. Amazon forest is estimated to produce through photosynthesis 20% of the total oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. So the answer for this question is option C. The percentage of tropical rainforest covering the Earth's land surface presently. Question number 14. The study of mutations is easy in haploid as compared to diploids because haploids are the cells which have only one set of the chromosomes or can say one of the pair of the alleles of gene. Since haploids are not having the whole pair of alleles, thus its allele is not influenced or affected by the counterpart. All allele types gets expressed in a haploid. It is the choice of cells for studying mutations as even the recessive allele will get expressed and not just only the dominant type since the recessive allele is singular or not in path. So the answer is option B. All mutations whether dominant or recessive are expressed in haploids. Question number 15. The regulator molecule prostaglandin is derived from. Prostaglandins are a type of lipids that are produced at the site of injury or tissue damage. These help in controlling inflammation, blood flow and even the formation of blood clots. They are synthesized from arachidonic acid which is a 20 carbon containing fatty acid by the enzyme prostaglandin synthetase. So the answer is option B. Fatty acids. Question number 16. How many of the following fungi belong to the group sac fungi? Here some of the fungal species names are given. Ascomycetes include multicellular organisms with some rare unicellular ones. They are commonly known as sac fungi. These fungi are sapropytic, decomposers, parasitic or copropylous. It means growing on dung with branched mycelium. The examples of ascomycetes are follows. Aspergillus, Claviceps, Neurospora, Saccharomyces, it is unicellular, Eustilago belong to Basidiomyces, Trichoderma and Colitotrichum belongs to Dityromyces and Albugo belongs to Pycomyces. So from the given fungal species, four fungal species belongs to the group Sac fungi. So the correct option is B. Question number 17. Cardiac output is defined as the amount of blood. The ventricle pumps blood outside into the circulation. Each ventricle pumps out around 70 ml of blood in each cardiac cycle. This is called stroke volume. Heart rate is the number of times the heart beats per minute or in other words the number of times a cardiac cycle occurs in a minute. That is the stroke volume. It means the volume pumped out by each ventricle in one cardiac cycle multiplied by heart rate. Heart rate means the number of cardiac cycle occurring in a minute gives us cardiac output. Thus the cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle per minute. It is around 5 liter or 5000 ml in a healthy individual. So the answer is option C. Pumped by each Question number 18. Mass the process of decomposition with the event that occurs in it. Fragmentation, leaching and catabolism are important steps of decomposition. Fragmentation is the process of breakdown of detritus consisting of remains of dead plants and animals into small particles by detritus like earthworm. The water soluble inorganic nutrients obtained from the process of decomposition get precipitated as the unavailable salts. This process is known as leaching. Degradation of detritus into simpler inorganic substances by bacterial and fungal enzyme is called as catabolism. So the correctly matching option is option C. Question number 19. Which point of difference between Geitnogamy and Xenogamy is incorrect? Geitnogamy and Xenogamy are two types of pollination that occurs between some species of plant. Geitnogamy is pollination between two different flowers of the same plant. Xenogamy is the pollination between two different flowers of different plants but same species are same type. In both the types, the genetic constitution of the plants or flower participating is similar. 
also the plants and the flowers are morphologically same in both the cases so the answer is option d gaitinogamy pollination occurs between genetically dissimilar plants xenogamy pollination occurs between morphologically and genetically dissimilar plants so that is the incorrect one about gaitinogamy and xenogamy so the d some strains of bacillus thuringiensis produce proteins that kill certain insects such as armyworm armyworm is a some strains of bacillus thuringiensis produce a proteins that kill certain insects such as lepidopterans it is generally called as tobacco budworm armyworm coleopterans it is generally called as beetles and dipterans generally called as flies mosquitoes lepidoptera number 24 the shape and starch synthesis in pea seeds is controlled by one gene which among the following statement is correct for heterozygotes it was observed that the starch synthesis process and the shape of the seed are controlled by a single gene the gene showed two alleles namely capital b and small b capital b capital b homozygotes combination result in large starch grains as compared to that produced by small b small b homozygotes after maturation it was observed that the round seeds were expressed by capital b capital b condition and small b small b expressed wrinkled type crossing up these resulted in the progeny giving round seeds like that of homozygotes but the starch grain size was intermediate to both homozygous type the seed shape followed by the loaf dominance given by mendel but the starch grain synthesis deviated from it resulting in incomplete dominance so the answer is option c both first statement third statement are correct but second is false so from the given three statements first and third statements are correct second statement is wrongly given question number 25 RNA interference involves RNA interference it is generally called as RNAi takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense this method involves 
the silencing of specific mRNA due to a complementary double-stranded RNA molecule that bind to and prevents translation of the mRNA silencing. The source of this complementary RNA could be from infection by viruses having RNA genomes or mobile genetic elements generally called as transposons that replicate via an RNA intermediate. So the answer for this question is option A. RNA involves silencing of a specific mRNA due to a complementary double-stranded RNA molecule that binds to and prevents translation of the mRNA. Question number 26. Observe the image of a cut section of tree. What would be the approximate age of this tree? The activity of cambium is under the control of many physiological and environmental factors. In temperate regions, the climatic conditions are not uniform through the year. In this spring season, cambium is very active and produces a large number of xylem elements having vessels with wider cavities. The wood formed during this season is called spring wood or early wood. In winter, the cambium is less active and forms fewer xylem rays elements that have narrow vessels and this wood is called as autumn wood or late wood. The spring wood is lighter in color and has a low density whereas the autumn wood is darker and has higher density. The two kinds of wood that appear as alternate concentric rings constitute an annual ring. Annual rings seen in a cut stem give an estimate of the age of the tree. In this cut section, there are 14 annual rings, hence its age would be about 14 years. So the answer for this question is option C, 14 years. Question number 27. The outermost layer of adrenal cortex zona glomerulosa is associated with. The adrenal gland is composed of two types of tissues the inner adrenal medulla and the outer adrenal cortex. The cortex can be divided into zona reticularis, zona fasciculata and zona glomerulosa from inside out. The cortex secretes various hormones commonly known as corticoids, zona reticula secreted androgenic hormone also known as sex corticoids which play a role in the growth of axial hair, pubic hair and facial hair during puberty. Glucocorticoids which play a role in carbohydrate metabolism are secreted by the zona fasciculata. Aldosterone, a mineralocorticoid, plays a role in the regulation of water and electrolyte balance and it is secreted by zona glomerulosa. So the answer for this question is option A, water and electrolyte balance. Question number 28. Read the following statements and state how many of them are true. Here there are four certain species occupy an area leading to declining or disappearance of other species. This change in the composition of species in any given area is called ecological succession. When succession occurs in an area where no living organism ever existed, it is called primary succession. There has to be a soil for a biotic community to be established and it takes a hundred to thousand years for fertile soil to be produced. Hence, primary succession takes is a slow process. Hydrog succession taking place in water as well as xeric uh, conditions uh, taking place in dry areas. Both proceed to messy conditions that are neither too dry nor wet. Saprophytes though play a vital role of uh, degrading dead matter in an ecosystem are not given any place in an ecological pyramid. So the answer for this question is option C. There are three statements are true about the following. Question number 29. Michaelia as Michaelia or Champaka it is generally called as Magnolia as flowers with a superior ovary polycorpulary apocarpus gynesium they have multiple corpus free from each other each ovary is unilocular and placentation is marginal so the answer for this question is option A multiple corpus which are free from each other 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी इफ द मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ एन अमीनो एसिड इज वन फिफ्टी डॉल्टन द मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ ट्राई पेप्टाइड विल बी ट्राई पेप्टाइड इज फॉर्मड बाय द कंडेंसेशन ऑफ थ्री अमीनो एसिड विद द लॉस ऑफ टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स द मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज एटीन इंट टू इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स दर फोर ट्राई पेप्टाइड मास विल बी वन फिफ्टी इंट थ्री माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई फोर step of nitrification is done by dash bacteria the process of conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is termed as nitrogen fixation most of the ammonia is converted to nitrate by soil bacteria where ammonia is first oxidized to nitrite by the bacteria nitrosomonas or nitrococcus the nitrate is further oxidized to nitrate with the help of nitrobacter these steps are called nitrification and the nitrifying bacteria are called chemo autotrophs so the answer is option c nitrobacter question number 32 which of these hormones is not produced by hypophyseal cerebri the pituitary gland it is generally called as hypophysis cerebri is de divided into two parts the adeno hypophysis and neuro hypophysis the adeno hypophysis consists of two parts the parts distalis also known as anterior pituitary and pos intermedia the anterior pituitary produce growth hormone prolactin thyroid stimulating hormone adrenocorticotropic hormone luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone the neurohypophysis also known as posterior pituitary stores oxytocin and vasopressin it does not produce these hormones they are produced by the hypothalamus and are transported and stored in the post posterior pituitary from where they are released so the answer for this question is option c oxytocin is not produced by hypophysis cerebri question number 33 which of the four environmental activists are matched correctly with their work here there are three scientist names are given from that all the three scientist names are correctly matched with their corresponding work for example first statement amrita devi bisoni conservation of tree in jodhpur is correct one second statement ramesh chandra dagar organic farmer in sonipat that also correctly matched third one ahmed khan remedy for plastic waste in bangalore so all the three statements are correctly matched with their work so the correct option for this question is option d question number 34 genetically different gametes will be produced by heterozygous plant having the genotype capital a capital a capital b small b capital c small c the given genotype capital a capital a capital b small b capital c small c will produce four types of gametes the gametes have half the genetic content of the parent genome also during gamete formation the genes are recombined the genotype of diploid will give four types of haploid combinations that is capital a capital b capital c capital a capital b small c capital a small b capital c capital a small b small c so the answer is option b 4 question number 35 In order to isolate the DNA from a suspension of bacillus subtilis, which of the following enzyme will be required to break open the cells? In order to cut the DNA with the restriction enzymes, it needs to be in pure form, free from other macro molecules. Since the DNA is enclosed within the membranes, we have to break the cell open to release DNA along with other macro molecules such as RNA, proteins, polysaccharides, and also lipids. this can be achieved by treating the bacterial cell or plant or animal tissue which enzyme such as lysozyme this is a bacterial enzyme cellulase is isolated from plant cells chitinase it is used to digest the cell wall of fungus so the answer for this question is option b lysozyme question number 36 consider the following four statements and select the right option vexi or descending imbricate 
the posterior petal is outermost and largest. In it standard or vexillum covers two lateral petals. These two lateral covers two anterior ones. Vexillary arrangement is present in P family. Example P bean. The general characters of Liliaceae family is the flowers are bracteate, bisexual, complete, act. Question number 39. Observe the diagram and state the nutritive layers of microsporangium. In the uh, anther cross section, label E, tapetum, the innermost wall of the anther and it is in nutritive layer nourishing the developing pollen grains. Label D, microspore mother cell, it has the potential to form microspore via microsporogenesis. Label C, middle layer. Present between tapetum and endothesium, function is protection and support in degesens. Label B Endothesium Inner to epidermis, function of protection and support in degesens. Label A Epidermis Outermost layer protective in function. So, the answer for this question is option D. So, from the given the nutrition for the microsporangium. Question number 40. A simple stirred tank bioreactor has all of these following properties except sterile air bubbles or sprayed sponged stirred tank bioreactor which increases the surface area of oxygen transfer. Sponger is not found in the simple stirred tank bioreactor. So the answer for this question is option D. Sterile air bubbles are sponged into the simple stirred tank bioreactor. Question number 41. Which of the following stages of plasmodium is correctly depicted in the transmission between female anaplas mosquito and humans? When the female anaplas mosquitoes bites human for a blood meal, they inject the sporozoids of plasmodium into the skin wound. Thus, sporozoid stages in the infective stage of plasmodium in human. These sporozoids reach the bloodstream and migrate to liver. They infect liver cells, it is generally called as hepatocytes, where they divide asexually to form many merozoids. These merozoids rupture the liver cells and escape into bloodstream. Each merozoid infects an erythrocyte where it develops into ring form followed by tropozoid, which shows intracellular feeding followed by cyzoont. In which turn produce many merozoids. These newly formed merozoids come out and the erythrocytes by rupturing them. The rupture of erythrocytes causes release of toxic substances, hemozoin, which is responsible for chill and high fever. Some of these merozoids escape the asexual amplification, amplification cycle and form microgametocytes and microgametocytes. Their function development requires cooler temperature found in mosquitoes. These gametocytes are stored in erythrocytes till they are transferred to female anaplas mosquito. So the correctly matching option is option D. Female anaplas mosquito sporozoids inject 
to human again from human the gametocytes are transferred to female anopheles mosquito so that is a correct option question number 42 observe the following leaf papaya and state its type a yeah, leaf is said to be simple when it lamina is entire or when in size the incisions do not touch the, it the midrib in this leaf the incision do not reach the midrib so it is a simple palmate leaf when the incisions of the lamina reach up to the midrib breaking it into a number of leaflets the leaf is called compound the compound leaves may be of two types in a pinnately compound leaf the number of leaflets are present on a common axis the rachis which represent the midrib of the leaf as in neem in palmately compound leaves the leaflets are attached at a common point at the tip of the petiole as in silk cotton a leaf having divisions that are themselves compound are called as decompound leaves so the answer for this question is option c simple palmate leaf question number 43 reptiles of different shape and size dominated earth which reptile went back into water to evolve into fish like reptiles 200 million years ago the first cellular form appeared on earth about 2000 million years ago which then formed into multicellular form following which there was a evolution of fish fish evolved into amphibians which in turn evolved into reptiles ichthyosaurus is a fish like reptile that evolved from land reptiles which went back into water tyrannosaurus is a biggest dinosaur which are land reptiles and are about 20 feet in height so the answer for this question is option a ichthyosaurus question number 44 observe the following pedigree chart and state the correct statement about it in the given pedigree diagram the parents are having free ear lobe structures out of their five kids two boys and three girls one boy and one girl have attached ear lobe and other three have free ear lobe since there is a expression of attached ear lobe in the next generation even though parents are not having it the free ear lobe allele is dominant over the attached ear lobe it can be concluded that the, that the parents are not homozygous for free ear lobe also it is not y linked as it is expressed in both male and female of next generation so the answer for this question is option d the parents are heterozygous question number 45 choose the correct statement from the following organism exhibiting external fertilization so great uh, synchrony between the sexes and release a large number of gametes into surrounding medium example water in order to enhance the chances of syngamy this happens in bony fishes and frogs where a large number of offsprings are produced a major disadvantage is that the offsprings are extremely vulnerable to predators threatening their survival up to adulthood so the answer is option b offsprings born from external fertilization are extremely vulnerable to predators question number 46 which of these uh, partial pressures are equal the various question number 46 which of these partial pressures are equal so here there are four partial pressures are given the tabular column is given in the textbook so according to the question option c pco2 in oxygenated blood and po2 in deoxygenated blood that partial pressure are equal so that is a answer for this question question number 47 all the following statements about cannabinoids are true except most commonly abused drug are opioids cannabinoids and coca alkaloids these substances have an addictive nature and are dependence forming cannabinoids are the group of chemicals interacting with cannabinoid receptors in the brain they are obtained from the plant cannabis sativa also known as hemp plant the most of intake is either oral or inhalation and have effects in the cardiovascular system of the body 
cocaine or coca alkaloid obtained from coca plant affects the central nervous system and it is commonly called coke or crack and it is snorted so the answer for this question is option d coke or crack is in the remaining all other statements about cannabinoids are true question number 48 cave painting the historic human can be seen at Bhim Petak Rock Shelter in Raisan district of Madhya Pradesh. Such prehistoric cave art developed about prehistoric cave art developed about eighteen thousand years ago. One such cave painting by prehistoric human can be seen at Bhim Petak Rock Shelter in Raisan district of Madhya Pradesh. Agriculture came around ten thousand years ago. Settlements started. So the answer for this question is option A, eighteen thousand years. Question number forty-nine. From the following diseases affecting humans. Chromosomal disorders are the diseases or conditions occurs due to change in the number of chromosomes in the individuals. Down syndrome is due to extra twenty-first chromosome. Turner syndrome is caused. in female due to lack of one x chromosome from 23rd pair of double x kleinfelder syndrome is caused due to extra copy of x chromosome in male marking the 23rd pairs as double x y hemophilia sickle cell anemia thalassemia or disorders occurring due to change in single gene of chromosome rather than the whole chromosome undergoing change these are also called mendelian disorders as they generally follow mendel's law of inheritance so the answer for this question is option c all except first the chromosomal disorders are correct except first one fourth one and sixth one question number 50 arrange the various respective volumes in ascending orders tidal volume Volume of air inspired or expired during normal respiration, it is approximately 500 mL. A healthy man can inspire or expire approximately 6,000 to 8,000 mL. A uh, inspiratory reserve volume. Additional volume of air a person can inspire by a forcible inspiration. This averages 2,500 mL to 3,000 mL. Expiratory reserve volume. Additional volume of air a person can expire by forcible expiration. This averages thousand mL to thousand hundred mL. Residual volume the volume of air remaining in the lungs even after a forcible expiration. This averages thousand hundred mL to thousand two hundred mL. So the answer for this question is option B. Tidal volume, expiratory reserve volume, residual volume, inspiratory reserve volume. So that is the the various respiratory volumes in ascending order question number 51 lm sipa shows all the following properties except lm sipa is onion it shows cymos inflorescence with umbellate clusters it consists of number of shoot flowers stalk which spread from a common point like umbrella during unfavorable condition it forms fleshy structures called bulb for storage of food in the scale leaves It is placed in a family Liliaceae, in which Colchicin, Colchicum autumnal, is also placed in its flowers. The petals and the sepals cannot be differentiated. This whole is called perianth, and it is made up of tepals. So the answer for this question is option C. Its flower has three green sepals and and three pink petals. Except This property, remaining all other properties are seen in the family Liliaceae, Allium sepa. Question number fifty-two. Which of these statement about cancer is incorrect? Several genes called cellular oncogenes, it is generally called as C on or proto oncogenes, have been identified in normal cells, which, when activated under certain condition, could lead to oncogenic transformation of the cells. MRI uses a strong magnetic field and non-ionizing radiations to accurately detect pathological and physiological changes in the living tissue. Antibodies against cancer specific antigens are also used for detecting certain cancers. Tumor cells have been shown to avoid 
detection and destruction by human system. Therefore, the patients are given substances called biological response modifiers such as alpha interferons which activates their immune system and help in destroying the tumors. So the answer for this question is option C. MRI uses strong magnetic field and ionizing radiations to accurately detect pathological and physiological changes in the living tissues. So that is the incorrect statement. Question number 53. Which of the following option has odd pair? Certain anatomical and morphological similarities seen in animals of today and those that existed years ago. By interpreting these similarities, one can understand whether the common ancestors were shared or not. The sting of honeybee and scorpion are structurally different but functionally similar. Similarly, the wing of an insect and a bat are structurally different but perform the same function of flying and also stipules of lathyrus and petiole of acacia are structurally different but functionally similar. Organs that are structurally different but similar in function are analogous organs as opposed to organs that are structurally similar but different in function are called as homologous organs. The four limbs of frog and humans are structurally the same but perform different functions hence they are homologous organs. So the answer for this question is option D four limbs of frog and human that is a hot pair. Question number 54 I identify this stage of mitosis and match it with its properties. Given image of cell division source the step of telopage where the nucleus separates in two marking the end of the karyokinesis. In this phase all other organelles from nuclear envelope reappears following telopase the cell undergoes cytokinesis where the cytoplasm divides and form two daughter cells. So the answer for this question is option D. The given diagrammatic representation is telopase. Nuclear envelope reforms, Golgi complex reforms. Question number 55. The property not shown by the amphibians of the plant kingdom is Bryophytes are generally called as amphibians of the plant kingdom or plants that can live on soil but are dependent on water for fertilization. The plant body bryophyte is thallus like and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. The male gametes produce anthrozoids which are released in water to come and contact with archegonium and form a zygote which does not undergo reduction immediately. It undergoes mitosis to form sporopite which is attached to gametopite. So the answer for this question is option C. Zygote formed undergoes meiotic division immediately. So that is not shown by amphibians of the plant kingdom. Question number 56. Given below is the label diagram of a mammary gland of which some parts are labeled as A, B, C and D. Based on these labels choose the part that contains the cluster of cells which secrete milk. A represent mammary lobe, B represent mammary duct, C lactiferous duct, D areola. The mammary gland or pad structures is generally called as breast that contain glandular tissues and variable amount of fat. The glandular tissues of each breast is divided into 15 to 20 mammary lobes containing cluster of cells called alveoli. The cells of alveoli secrete milk which is stored in the cavities generally called as lumens of alveoli. The alveoli open into mammary tubules. The tubules of each lobe join to form mammary duct. Several mammary ducts join to form a wider mammary ampulla which is connected to lactiferous duct through which milk is sucked out. So the answer for this question is option E. That is correctly labeled. Question number 57. Plants adapted to deserts have xeropites are plants that grow in deficiency of water as a result of which possess some adaptations to survive in the deficiency of water. They have deep roots that penetrate the soil to great depths and are shoot less developed than roots resulting in reduced transpiration. They also have sangan stomata which help in reducing the loss of water by opening at night as there is increased transpiration during the day. Stem and leaves are converted with a thick cuticle 
and wax which also reduces transpiration so the answer for this question is option d all of these desert plants have sunken stomata deep roots and thick cuticle so all the properties are seen in desert plants question number 58 the nucleus of gamete of an animal has 5 pg dna what will be the content of dna in somatic cells of the same animal at the end of g2 phase egg is a gametic cell having of the genetic content that is 5 pg dna that is generally called as haploid thus the diploid state of the cell will have 10 pg dna during interphase g2 phase occurring after the s phase that is after dna duplication the genetic content of the cell in g2 phase will be double of the de diploid state that is 20 pg so the answer is option c 20 pg question number 59 which of the following properties correctly describes the plant depicted in this diagram the diagram given is equisetum it is a pteridophyte which is placed under the class spinopsida it is a vascular cryptogam so that means having vascular tissue but not producing seeds it has a haplodiplontic life cycle in which the gametophyte and the sporophyte are independent of each other production of seeds without fruit is characteristic of gymnosperm protonimal stage and plant without true roots are seen in mosses so the answer for this question is option b it has gametophyte and sporophyte which are independent of each other so that is correctly describes the plant depicted in the diagram question number 60 the correct statement of cleavage in human is fusion of the sperm with the ovum is known as fertilization and it occurs at ampullary isthmic junction of the fallopian tube the division of the zygote known as cleavage begins in the isthmus of fallopian tube and the zygote move towards the uterus while the division continue forming to four 8 16 daughter cells called blastomeres the zygote with 8 to 16 cell is called as morula during cleavage the number of chromosomes in the daughter cell is same but the amount of cytoplasm is reduced hence it is not identical to mitosis so the answer for this question is option b it starts while the fertilized egg is in fallopian tube
64. Which of the following is incorrect about the uterine wall? The uterus is a part of the female reproductive system and is also known as worm. It is an inverted pear shaped organ that bears the fetus during pregnancy. The uterine wall has three layers which are perimetrium, myometrium and endometrium. Perimetrium is the outer thin covering. Myometrium is thick middle layer of smooth muscles and the inner layer which contain gland is called the endometrium. It is the endometrium that undergoes cyclical changes during menstrual cycle. So the answer for this question is option C. Myometrium smooth muscle layer below myometrium. So that is the incorrect about uterine wall. Question number 66. The Golgi sister name are concentrically arranged near the nucleus with a distinct. Golgi bodies consist of many flat disc shaped sacs or sister name of 0.5 mu micron to 1 mu micron diameter. These are stacked parallel to each other. A varied number of cisternae are present in a Golgi complex. The Golgi cisternae are concentrically arranged near the nucleus with distinct convex cis or the forming phase and concave trans or the maturing phase. The cis and trans phases of the organelle are entirely different but interconnected. So the answer for this question is option D. Convex cis or the forming phase and concave trans or the maturing phase. Question number 67. Which of the following is correct about binomial nomenclature? Biological names are generally in Latin or written in italics. The first word in the biological name represents the genus while the second component denotes the specific epithet. When these words are handwritten, they are separately underlined or printed in italics to indicate their Latin origin. The first word of the genus starts with the capital letter while the specific epithet starts with small letter. So the answer for this question is both A and B are correct about binomial nomenclature. Question number 68. An anteriorly convex curve is seen which region of the vertebral column? The vertebral column plays the most important role in maintaining the posture and the counter of the body. It is formed by 26 units called vertebrae. The first vertebrae is called as atlas and it articulates with the occipital condyces. The vertebral column is differentiated into cervical, that is 7 vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, that is 12, lumbar vertebrae, that is 5 in number, sacral vertebrae, that is 5 fused to form one bone, and coccygeal vertebrae, 4 fused to form one bone in the thoracic and sacral regions. The vertebral column forms the curvature which is convex posteriorly, concave anteriorly while in the cervical and lumbar region it forms a curvature which is concave posteriorly, convex anteriorly. So the answer for this question is option B, lumbar. Question number 69. Which of these microbes is used in the inoculum to form curd? Milk is converted into curd due to the growth of microorganism lactobacillus acidophilus commonly called as lactic acid bacteria as it is produced by it leading to the coagulation and digestion of milk protein partially a small amount of curd that is added to milk act as starter as it contains millions of lactobacillus multiplication of which converts milk into curds it also increases vitamin b12 hence accumulating the nutritional quality of milk and so the answer for this question is option Question number 72. In each of the following options, there is one property and two structures. Among the two structures, whichever follows the property is marked Y, while the one does not is marked N. In which of these options, it is incorrect. 
Myoglobin content is high in some of the muscles which give a reddish appearance. Such muscles are called as red fibers. These muscles also contain plenty of mitochondria which can utilize a large amount of oxygen stored in them for ATP production. Some of the muscles possess very less quantity of myoglobin and therefore appear pale or whitish. These are the white fibers. The number of mitochondria are also few in them but the amount of sarcoplasmic reticulum is high. During muscle contraction, actin filaments slide over myosin in such a way that the I bands get reduced whereas A bands retain their length. Bind it head to actin during muscle contraction. ATP, ATP is required by the myosin to bind its head to actin during muscle contraction. ATP is also required during muscle relaxation to pump calcium ions back to the sarcoplasmic. Answer for this question is option D. A fourth one is that is incorrectly matched. Question number 73. Which of the following options shows correct pairing of alcohol and the substrate from which it is obtained? Microbes are used on a large scale in industries to make several products including beverages, antibiotics, etc. Alcoholic beverages like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy or rum are produced by the action of microbe yeast on the substrate. Ethanol is produced by action of yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae on malted cereals and fruit juices. The type of alcoholic drink depends on the type of substrate used for fermentation. Substrates used in the production of wine, beer, whiskey, brandy and rum are barley, molasses, cereals and potato. So the answer for this question is option B. Beer, barley malt, rum, molasses, whiskey, cereals and vodka potato. Question number 74. Verbal hypothesis cannot be applied to the tRNA carrying which of the following amino acids? Some amino acids are coded by more than one codon, hence the code is degenerate. This was explained by Francis Crick as a verbal hypothesis, where only the first two base of the codon have a precise pairing with the basis of the anticodon of tRNA, while the pairing between the third basis of codon and anticodon may away or move unsteadily. Methionine is coded only by AUG and tryptophan is coded only by UGG. Thus, we cannot apply the verbal hypothesis here. So, the answer is option C tryptophan and methionine. Question number 75. All the following plants are biennials except monocarpic plants that are flowers and die in the second season. Vernalization can help such plants by stimulating in them a potoperiodic flowering response by subjecting them to cold treatment. Some common examples of biennials include sugar beet, cabbage, carrot etc. Pea is an annual plant which produces flowers once and dies in the same season. So the answer is option D. Except pea plant remaining all are uh, biennials. Question number 76. Multi-load 375 acts as a contraceptive because multi-load 375 is an intrauterine contraceptive device IUDs are inserted into the uterus and prevent pregnancy and help in the population control measures they function by increasing pagocytosis of sperms within the uterus the copper ions released by them suppresses sperm motility and its fertilizing capacity in addition to this the IUDs make the uterus unsuitable for implantation and also the cervix hostile to the sperms. So the answer is option C. It releases copper ions which suppresses the motility and fertilizing capacity of sperms. Question number 77. The essential photosynthetic pigment as a dash at carbon atom 3 of the porphyrol ring 2 of chlorophyll A. There is a two main type of chlorophyll, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll consists of methyl group whereas chlorophyll B has aldehyde group. The chlorophyll molecule is chemically composed of two parts. Tetrapyrrole heads the porphyrin ring and attached to it also a long hydrocarbon tail called pytal. Magnesium is present in the center of the ring whereas the methyl group is attached to its side chain which is replaced by a aldehyde group 
in chlorophyll B? So the answer is option A. Methyl group. Question number 78. How many of these statements are correct? In the transcription process, mRNA is synthesized from DNA. number 80. Louise Joy Brown is an English woman who was the first test tube baby. She was born by the process in which fertilization is the fusion of the ovum and the sperm. In cases of infertility assisted reproductive technologies, ERT are resorted to reproduction. One of the method of ERT is IVF in vitro fertilization and embryonic transfer ET commonly known as the test tube baby method. The ovum from the wife or donor and sperm from the husband or donor are fertilized outside the body to form zygote under similar condition. The zygote is later transferred into the uterus for further development of the embryo into the fetus. So the answer is option A. Fertilization is external and fetus formation is internal. Question number 81. Match the mode of dark reaction with the correct examples. The carbon dioxide assimilation during photosynthesis is of two main types in those plants in which the first product of carbon dioxide fixation is 3 carbon compound phosphoglyceric acid. That's why it is generally called as C3 acid, is known as C3 pathway or Calvin cycle, and those in which the first product is oxaloacetic acid, as in C4 acid, is the C4 pathway. Camp plants, crassly is in acid metabolism, pathway is the method of carbon fixation evolved by some plants in dry circumstances where the summit are opened during night to take the carbon dioxide to prevent water loss. Calancho belongs to the family Crassylaceae and shows the camp pathway of carbon fixation. Triticum, it is generally called as wheat plant, uses the Standard method of carbon fixation that is a C3 pathway, maize, Z maize, so the C4 pathway as it grows in dry tropical climates. So the correct question is option C. The correctly matching option is C. Mark the incorrect differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic transcription. In eukaryotes, the genes are split having exons that is coding regions and introns non-coding regions while in prokaryotes non-coding regions within coding regions do not occur. The structural gene which is to be transcribed in monocystronic in eukaryotes and polycystronic in prokaryotes. The RNA formed with the help of RNA polymerase in eukaryotes requires further processing that is splicing, capping and tailing to function as mRNA while in prokaryotes it is directly used as mRNA. In both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, RNA polymerase binds to the promoter region. So the answer for this question is option C. From the given four statements, second and fourth statement are incorrect differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic transcription. Question number 83. Male and female gametophytes are independent and free living in Sphagnum is a bryophyte in which male and female gametophytes are independent and free living. In Pinus, a gymnosperm, mustard and castor, angiosperm. The main plant body is a sporophyte. Gametophyte is highly reduced and is completely dependent on sporophyte. So the answer is option D. Sphagnum. Question number 84. Which of the following statement is correct regarding association areas in the cerebrum? Cerebral cortex is the fold of gray matter surrounding the cerebral hemispheres. It is called gray matter due to its gray appearance imported due to the neuron cell bodies concentrated there it contains motor areas and sensory areas. There are also a large regions that are neither clearly sensory nor motor in function and are known as association areas. 
they are responsible for complex functions like intersensory associations memory and communications so the answer is option b it is present in cerebral cortex question number 85 substrate level phosphorylation occurs during in the tca cycle axoloacetic acid along with water undergoes condensation to form citric acid in the presence of citrate synthase which is then followed by its isomerization into isocitrate this further undergoes decarboxylation twice to form alpha ketoglutaric acid then succinyl coa succinyl coa then converted to succinic acid and a molecule of gtp is released this forms the substrate level of phosphorylation so the answer is option d succinyl coa is converted into succinic acid during that time substrate level phosphorylation takes place question number 86 the following list contains some connective tissues which of these are present beneath our integument skin that is integument is the largest organ in the body acting as a protective covering skin is made up of a multiple layers of connective tissues including areola tissue adipose tissue it is a fat layer and dense irregular connective tissue the outermost layer of the skin is made up of tightly packed epithelial tissue skin is vascularized with vessels and ducts of glands so the answer is option d so from the given there are three parts are given all the three parts are present beneath our integument question number 87 observe this floral diagram what does the part denoted by the arrow indicate a floral diagram provide information about the number of parts of flower their arrangement and the relation they have with one another the position of the mother axis with respect to the flower is represented by dot on the top of the floral diagram calyx corolla and isium and gynecium are drawn in a successive whorls calyx being the outermost and the gynecium being the center the floral formula also shows cohesion and adhesion with the parts of whorls and between whorls so the answer for this question is option d the position of the mother axis with respect to the flower that is marked in the floral diagram question number 88 all statements about a electrical synapses are correct except no no impulses are transmitted from one neuron to another through junctions called synapses a yeah, synapses is formed by the membranes of presynaptic neurons and postsynaptic neurons which may or may not be separated by gap called synaptic cleft synapses are of two types electrical and chemical synapses in electrical synapses the membranes of pre and post synaptic neurons are in close proximity the electrical current can flow directly from one neuron to another transmission of an impulse across electrical synapses is very similar to impulse con question number 90 this is the last question which of these differences between male and female cockroaches this periplaneta americana is correct the male reproductive system of cockroach consists of a pair of testes lying on each lateral side in the fourth to sixth abdominal segments the female reproductive system of cockroach consists of two large ovaries lying laterally in second to sixth abdominal abdominal segments thus ovaries are longer than testes male bear a pair of short thread like anal styles which are absent in female in both the sexes the 10th segment bears a pair of jointed filamentous structure called as anal cerci a pair of spermatheca is present in the 6th segment of female cockroach which opens into the genital chamber their fertilized eggs are encased in 
capsules called as Uthika. Peri planeta American has 2x and x0 type of sex determination. Females have 34 chromosomes that is 32 plus x, 2x chromosomes and males have 33 chromosomes 32 plus 1x chromosome. So the answer for this question is, for this question is option C. The male cockroach has one chromosome less than female cockroach. So that is the difference between male and female cockroaches is correct. Thank you very much for listening our videos. So those who are watching our videos, you are requested to like, subscribe and share to your friends. All the best.